The purpose of this video is to help you pick up quick and easy points when differentiating two types of pulmonary transfusion reactions. This video will be about taco and trolley. Now really briefly, in like 30 seconds, there are many different types of transfusion reactions and in fact I have a video on the higher yield inflammatory, less pulmonary transfusion reactions. But I wanted to carve out a very special video for taco versus trolley because these two syndromes oftentimes get confused for one another. So first we'll start with TACO. TACO stands for Transfusion Associated Circulatory Overload. So basically this occurs when the volume of the transfused component causes hypervolemia in the recipient. And this is unrelated to the transfusion blood components themselves. And that's a pretty important distinction. As you'll see with TRALI, that has to do with an immune reaction to the blood itself. In TACO, this typically occurs in patients with underlying cardiac disease. So let's go through the pathophysiology. So the blood is given, and that increases intravascular volume. That in turn increases pulmonary venous pressure, and then you end up with cardiogenic pulmonary edema. Now, as you can see, the pathophysiology in TACO is really not that complex, right? Transfusion increases volume, volume increases pulmonary venous pressure, and that leads to, of course, cardiogenic pulmonary edema. So I'm going to pause for a second. First high yield difference between TACO and TRALI is that in TACO, the pulmonary edema is cardiogenic, right? It is inherently cardiogenic. And as you'll see in TRALI, it's not in TRALI. Now your findings for TACO is that usually this will occur in patients with underlying cardiac disease, underlying heart failure, underlying renal dysfunction, patients with positive fluid balances, or patients in states of hypoalbuminemia. That is to say, patients who are more likely to have exacerbations or complications leading to cardiogenic pulmonary edema. So patients who are more prone to becoming hypervolemic are more prone to experiencing TACO when they get a transfusion. Now, symptoms-wise, what should you look for? Hypertension, signs and symptoms of hypervolemia, so your S3 heart sound, jugular venous distension, anasarca, peripheral edema, shortness of breath, and hypoxemia. And we'll see in just a moment with trolley that it's completely different. So that's TACO. Again, patients with underlying heart conditions, kidney conditions, or conditions that would make them more likely to experience the adverse effects of potential hypervolemia. And in TACO, this is inherently cardiogenic. Now in TRALI, this occurs when neutrophils are improperly primed. What happens here is that you end up in this pro-inflammatory state, and pro-inflammation causes edema, but it's not inherently cardiogenic. So the major difference is that in TRALI, it's non-cardiogenic pulmonary edema. In TACO, it is inherently cardiogenic. Let's go through the pathophysiology here. So there is the blood product that's transfused, and in that blood product, there are soluble antibodies. And again, those antibodies are the donors, not the recipients. However, in the recipient, you get increased granulocyte activation, which leads to increased pro-inflammatory cytokines and vascular permeability. And then that leads to, yes, pulmonary edema, but in this case, it's not cardiogenic because it's not inherent to the pulmonary venous pressure spilling over. This is because of this more uh, inflammatory reaction that is due to the antibodies in the donor product. So I've said it like two or three times already, but I really wanna make sure you understand that TACO is inherently a cardiogenic edema in patients who are more likely to have hypervolemia. TRALI is a non-cardiogenic pulmonary edema that occurs because of solu soluble antibodies in the donor blood product. So symptoms-wise, what would you see in TRALI? You would see hypotension, and the patients would not present with signs and symptoms of hypervolemia. So symptoms-wise, you can differentiate trolley versus taco pretty easily because, again, in taco, you see high blood pressure and hypervolemia. In trolley, you see low blood, low blood pressure and no signs of hypervolemia.